Hi guys, this is Liz Canada in collaboration with Sleek Lens. Today I'm going to show you the A Winter's Tail workflow. This workflow comes with 27 winter brushes and 68 winter presets. It's really great for enhancing the natural light and color in your winter photographs. So I've got this photograph open and I'm going to go ahead and jump in by starting with my all-in-one presets. So over here on the left I'm going to go to my all-in-one presets and I'm going to choose for this one the Northern Lights preset. So the next thing I'm going to do is stack another preset on top of this and what's great about this workflow is that it comes with these Let It Snow presets which allow you to add a kind of neat snow effect to your photographs. So for this one I'm going to use the Horizontal Snowflakes 1. So I went ahead and stacked that on top and as you can see there are some spots on her face and jacket that I don't want. So to remove those what I do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to choose my radial filter and that will show me the spots where they are and where I can delete them. Alright, so I went ahead and deleted most of the spots on her face and clothes here. I'm going to delete two more because I don't think that they look very natural. So now that I've removed all the spots that I don't want, or all the snowflakes that I don't want, the next thing I'm going to do is open up my basics tab and I'm going to edit these presets. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my whites here, meaning my highlights. And I'm going to move those up to 45 just to brighten the photograph up. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn the exposure up. And I'm going to set it at 1.31 just to really brighten it up. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my brushes right over here. And I'm going to open up to my winter brushes. My winter tails brushes and I'm going to go for the light brighten and I'm just going to use this generally over her face to just brighten her face a little bit and up around her hair. So I'm going to use one more brush on this photograph so I'm going to go ahead and hit new. I'm going to go to my winter tails brushes again and I'm going to go for the blur background and I'm just going to use this in a general kind of motion back here to blur the background slightly. All right. So last thing I'm going to do to this photograph is I'm just going to go to my highlights and just lower them a little tiny bit just so it's not so bright. So here's the before and after. So what we've done is we've added a kind of neat snowflake effect. We've added a whole lot of light to the photograph and really just changed it entirely. This would be a great photograph for a Christmas card or just something to frame and put in your house. So I have a second photograph open. And the first thing I'm going to do is start with my all-in-one presets. And I'm going to choose for this one the warm and cool preset. The next thing I'm going to do is apply another snowflake effect like I did with the previous photograph. This time I'm going to use the Let It Snow Horizontal Blizzard number 1. And like the previous photograph, I'm also going to choose the radial filter and use this to delete any of the snowflakes that I don't want. Alright, so I went ahead and got rid of all of the snowflakes that I didn't need. And the next thing I'm going to do is use my spot removal tool down here to kind of get rid of these little branches that are floating around.
All right, so now that I've removed the branches, I'm going to do one more thing to this photograph. I'm going to go to my brushes and I'm going to open my Winter's Tale Light Brighten brush. And I'm going to set that at 0.85 and I'm going to use this brush just to add a light to the girls in the center. So here's the before and after. As you can see, we've basically added a little bit more color, a warmer tone, a lot of light to the photograph, and it also has that nice snowflake effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to a third photograph. So I have a third photograph open. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna to go to my all-in-one presets and I'm gonna choose the winter lights. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tweak that photograph by basically turning the contrast down because that all-in-one added a little too much contrast. So I'm going to change it from 86 to 26. The next thing I'm going to do is add that snowflake effect again and I'm going to go for the horizontal snowflakes number one. I'm going to choose my radial filter and I'm going to use it to get rid of the snowflakes that I don't want. Alright, so after I've gone ahead and removed those, I'm going to go back to my presets and I'm going to go to my tone presets. And I'm going to go for the creamy highlights. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my post-process presets and I'm going to go for the post-process blur. Then we'll go ahead and change the temperature of that to negative five. All right, so now I'm gonna to go to my brushes and I'm going to my Winter's Tail brushes. I'm gonna choose the Light Brighten. And I'm gonna go ahead and set that, instead of 0.85, I'm gonna set it to 0.19, just for a subtle light. And I'm just gonna use it on her face. A little bit in her hair. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and hit new and I'm going to use that same brush just on her face one more time. So I'm going to start another brush again. I'm going to go to my light brush, brighten brush again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the temperature on this brush to 20. And I'm going to change the tint to negative 29. And I'm going to use this brush on her eyes to really lighten up her eyes. Okay, and I'm going to bump up the exposure just a little bit. So here's the before and after. As you can see, we've added a lot of light, the snowflake effect, and we've kind of given it a nice cooler temperature and a nice winter look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial today, and hopefully you'll be able to try it out for yourselves.